I'm a surrogate mum. Meg's sweating as Archie's real mum posted concrete proof to take the kid back. Recently, there was a post that went viral on the net. That's what a woman said about a topic related to the surrogacy experience. She talked about the noble family of England, had asked her going through many difficult tests, the surrogacy process, and when she finally described the baby's appearance, the royal fans were shocked, because they realised the child depicted as Archie, Meghan and Harry's child. My experience as a surrogate mother was one of the most powerful things I've ever done or felt. I've always wanted to help a family have a child of their own. I've had two children of my own and was ready to see if I was a candidate. I was. After a bunch of tests and questionnaires and a psych review, because that family is a very prestigious class in England, I was approved. In vitro was rough. The shots were very painful. I requested only one embryo be inserted into my uterus. I figured if God wanted it to be, then it would be. I knew I was pregnant and the doctor confirmed it around two weeks later. I was so excited for my surrogate family. Once the third trimester rolled around, I went into preterm labour and had to stay in the hospital for two weeks. I finished the rest of the pregnancy but still had the baby five weeks early, but he was healthy and strong and oh so cute I remember. When the wife came in, she was so happy and swooped over to see the first baby. She was moved to tears when the baby was born, carrying most of the characteristics of a husband. It has bright skin, big round eyes and a few strands of hair indicating ginger hair in the future. While the husband came to thank me profusely, I saw the utter joy in his eyes. I had to call the child A, because maybe if you're the England you could have guessed the family identity. I just happened to read this topic and wanted to share my experience with everyone. Giving life has been one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I honestly had feelings for the boy, but I knew A belonged to them. I only asked to see him a few times a year, but they seemed to have erased all traces of me and blatantly fake pregnancy traces for the whole world to see. As the reporter, I believe that Archie was born to a surrogate for these reasons. The bump moved around too much and changed in size, bigger and smaller. It disappeared altogether when she was in New York for the baby shower. Megan accidentally let herself be filmed running up a flight of stairs in stiletto heels when allegedly seven months pregnant. A professional athlete said she herself wasn't able to do that and while I'm not an athlete, I know my balance changed when I was pregnant and I wouldn't have been able to do that either. Harry's remark about the baby changing so much over two weeks. The lack of protocol surrounding the due date, the actual date and the doctor's present. The fake birth certificate on the internet, the real certificate would have the surrogate's name on it, not Megan's. And here's the killer. She wore flimsy tops and underwear within a couple of weeks of the event, but no breast pads. Every new mother lives in fear of embarrassing leaks. If Archie was born to a surrogate, he'd not be considered eligible to be in the royal line of succession. He is in the royal line of succession, so either Meghan is Archie's biological mother, or the Queen and the entire royal family, not to mention everyone who signed off on Archie's birth certificate are liars. Which do you think is more likely?